Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, I want to go over guide grids and adding revision settings on the sheets. Because sometimes we have to do revisions. You might have to do amendments or addenda. You might have to make revisions to the sketches. So we need a system for being able to set those up. Now, if you want to make sure that all your views are in the same position, then you can set up what's called a guide grid. Guide grids basically help you align certain views so that you can make sure that everything lines up correctly. Now we're going to create a new grid, but if you have an existing grid, you can always apply that by selecting it and hitting OK. And you'll see the guide grid is overlaid. Now you can always shorten and change this guide grid. So for instance, in this case, we can shorten our guide grid so that it fits more within the title block. And you can also edit the properties of the guide grid. So under the properties window, we can change the guide spacing. So you can change it to every half an inch if you want, which I personally find excessive. I usually keep it at one inch. So in general, you can use the guide grid to help align your different views on your sheet to exactly where you want it to snap to. Now keep in mind that they don't actually snap to but you can always drag your views around to try and get them aligned. You can also use the arrow keys to fine tune things. Now these guide grids won't print out, but I usually don't like to leave them sitting there, so I'll usually hide them when I'm not working with them. Now if we have a revision, one thing you'll notice in this title block is that we actually have a revision schedule built in. We'll go more into setting those up in the advanced course when we talk about customizing our title blocks, but for now, I'm just going to add a revision. So I'll go up to the View tab, and then I'll select Revisions. This will bring up a list of all the revisions that you want in your project, or really anywhere else. If you want to add a revision, make sure you've got the right numbering system. I usually go with Numeric. You can always add a date, which in this case I'm going to go with today's date, and right now it's November 1st, so that'll be 11.01. Dot 2015, and you can have those arranged differently if you're in a different country. You can change the description of your revision, so in this case we're going to make it Addendum 1, and we'll choose what we show. You can show nothing, a tag, or a cloud and tag. So I'll choose cloud and tag and hit apply. So that menu from the view tag and under revisions lists all the revisions you want to have in your project. Now another thing that you might have under the Annotate tab is a Revision Cloud. This Revision Cloud is essentially going to highlight whatever part of your model it is that you want to revise. Now if you're using an earlier version of Revit, anything before 2015, then you're going to have to click from point to point to point constantly. But in more recent editions, they've actually changed it so it's more like drawing or sketching much like with stairs by sketch, ceilings, and the like. So now that they've incorporated these draw tools, it makes it much easier to keep everything organized. So I'll go ahead and set one draw cloud over here, and I'll set another one over here. So when you hit apply, what you'll see is that you have two clouds, and you'll see them sitting right on top of your drawing. Now what you'll see is that they have automatically gone to sequential one, addendum one. You can also tag these revision clouds if you want to. Just go up to the annotate tab and then select tag by category and if we tag the cloud on the right you'll see that it is now labeled one. And we can do the same thing with the revision cloud on the left. So all we have to do is go back to the annotate tab, click tag by category, and we can tag the cloud. So once you include those revisions in your sheet you can look over and see that it's automatically included in the schedule. There's the number one, addendum one, and the date of the revision. You no longer have to remember to manually enter the revision data. Once you included the revisions on your sheet, it automatically updated it. If we go back to the revisions and choose to hide them by category, they'll still appear in the revision schedule, because again, that element is still in the sheet. Now, if you want to change the value of your revision, say we go into our tag and change the number to 2, one thing that you'll notice is that you actually can't click into this tag to change it. But what you can do instead 
is go up to the ribbon and enter the View tab. Then if you open Revisions, you can change the sequence number from there. You can add one in, and you can change those sequence values if you need to from here. Alright, that's it for Revisions. I will see you in the next tutorial, and thank you as always.